me tired out of working. That house, there was a haunted house for every night a bloody head fell down the chimney. At least that's what people said. Nobody would stay there overnight. A rich man offered $200 to whoever would do it. And this boy said he would do it. And he would try if he could have his dog with him. So it was settled. The next night, a boy went into his, the house with his dog. To make it more cheerful, he started a fire in the fireplace. He sat in front of the fire and waited. His dog waited with him. For a while, nothing happened. But a little after midnight... He heard someone singing softly and sadly off in the woods. Singing sounded something like this. Me tired of the walker. Um, it's just somebody singing, the boy told himself, but he was frightened. The dog answered the song softly and sadly. It sang, Lynchy, Kinchy, call him Ollie Dingo Dingo. The boy could not believe his ears. His dog had never uttered a word before him. A few minutes later, he heard the singing again. Now it was closer and louder, but the singing, the words were the same. Me tired of e walker. The boy tried to stop his dog from answering. Afraid he was ever singing, would he and come after them. But the, his dog paid no attention. And once again, it sang, Lynchy, Kinchy, Carly, Molly, Dingo, Dingo. About a half hour later, the boy singing again now it was in the backyard and the song was the same me tired out walker and the boy tried to keep his dog quiet but the dog sang out louder than ever then she can she call him molly dingo dingo hold on i have to turn the page <clears throat> Soon the boy heard the singing again. Now it was coming down the chimney. Me tied out e walker. The dog sang right back. Then she can she call Molly Dingo Dingo. Suddenly the bloody head fell right out of the chimney. It missed the fire and then right next to the dog. The dog took one look and fell over from fright. He soon. His, the head turned, turned and stared at the boy. It slowly opened its mouth and, 